Yo, yo, yo. Straight being a villain. How you feeling? Yes, sir. Back in the flesh, back in the billing, baby. You dig? Let's get right into the video. I miss y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for continuously showering this channel with love and support. Because when you support JB and the fam, you're only supporting yourself. You are only giving yourself more grace, more praise, and more thanks. So thank you for thanking yourself for being here and liking the videos and supporting the mission. Right? Let's get into it. The four dumbest words ever created in the English language. The four dumbest words. It's just four of them. Once upon a time, I had two. Then I had three. Then I got four. We're going we're gonna to keep it right here. Number one. The dumbest word ever created is try. Try. Oh, y'all know I can go on a tangent on this word alone. Try. Trying. I'm trying. Let me give you a scenario. When you come home from school after getting broken up with, getting dumped, shout out to the love, you just got dumped, your friend's not rocking with you like that no more, you had a bad day at practice, you was missing all your shots. You weren't being a leader. You were off. Plus a whole entire school day. You barely ate lunch. The lunch is nasty. You come home shop and you say, you know, yeah, I'm going to try to study when I get home. A winner's not going to say that. Somebody who's actually going to study when they get home is not going to say, I'm going to try to study when I get home. After you got to take out the trash, you got to eat, you got to shower. You're going to be on your phone for another two, three hours, laying in your bed, laying in your funk. Y'all know how it be. You may, you may take a nap. And you come home and say, I'm going to try to study. Come on now. Be real with yourself. You know you're not going to study. And just opening the book while you got your, your phone playing, while you got the, the TV in the background, you got power in the background, you got your mom playing music in the back. She don't even care about you studying, none of that. And you open the book and you say, yeah, I'm going to try. Even if you open it for 20 minutes... And you think, did you really retain it? Exactly. No. Try. Trying is failing. Trying is the equivalent of failing. I am all for anybody and everybody who wants to put their efforts towards something that they've never done before. The regular everyday person calls it trying. I call it doing. <laughs> I call it being. I'm just being one with the activity that I'm doing. You see, you see the difference in language because... The reason why I'm making this video right now is because in this degenerate society right now that we live in, we are residing in a space where words is the GPS to our reality. What you say is going to feed into your blueprint or your downfall, right? You choose that. So we need to know these, these linguistic barriers that we say to one another and we say to ourselves. Because as you know, watching the video, you can be your biggest enemy. Any sport. Yo, you can defend yourself faster and quicker and easier than any defender, than any opponent ever could. Ever. Because you tell yourself you can't drop 30 tonight. You can't drop 40. You tell yourself you don't got that big of a bag. That he's faster than you. So if you're cornerback and you're defending a wide receiver, in your mind, while you you on the line, get ready for the whistle, get ready for the, you know, you already telling yourself he beats you. So no shit he blow past you. He's stronger than you. These are things that we rehearse to ourselves. Imagine if you rehearsed the opposite side to that. Imagine if you rehearsed what it is like to be the stronger, faster, better version of yourself, a.k.a. the wide receiver, a.k.a. the, 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 the McDonald's All-American, a.k.a. The, the D1 prospect in high school. Imagine that. <sighs> Unbeatable. So when you say try, I'm going to try to do something, I get it, right? But you need to breed more confidence and self-esteem into thyself, Breed that. Breed and breathe that. It's like a plant. Y'all, I love mentioning plants 
and animals because that's life. That's mother nature. When you plant a seed and you do not give it the, cor the correct essentials to growth and for life, there is no coincidence. There is no accident as to why the plant is growing into the house or in the middle of the street. It's tall, right? Humans, what do we do from the ages five to seven to nine to 13 to 15? We get taller. That's the illusion. But guess what? You're getting taller, getting closer to the sun, but you're getting dumber. Your movements are slower. You're becoming more degenerate, more lustful. So, what's an alternative for the word try? Execute, do, be. It's so ironic how we have made try into a action word, a verb. Try is not a verb. Try is just a dumb word. <laughs> you feel me? Be, do, act, see, seek. Those are action words. And it's not talking about the consequences as to, oh yeah, but I tried it though. I tried that food. Uh-uh, I tasted the food and I just didn't like it. The texture, the taste, my mind was not, and that's all there is to it. And that's try. Number two, number two, the dumbest words in the English language. I got to go perfect, man. Perfect. Mm, 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 mm. But look, y'all, everybody makes mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. I'm going to, uh, I'm not perfect. What is symbolic to perfect? Who slash what can we look at as a perfect image? As a perfect symbol, a perfect vision, a perfect sign. A perfect sigil. What? What can we look at? Who can we look at? Exactly. And it's not about comparing before y'all even say, I'm not attempting to compare people's journeys to one another, right? But think about it. If you change the way that you see things, things that you see change. That also comes, action words, that comes with if you change the way you use things, the things you use change. If you change the way you act upon things, your actions upon things change. You see? But perfect. Perfect and crutch go hand in hand because they are... Your ligaments are not broke, but that's you having two crutches, right? You having two crutches, try, perfect. You're going to lean on your crutches in times of you feeling inadequate. Mm. So what happens when you get older, past high school, past college? You're going to continuously slay, say, I'm going to try to uphold this job. I'm going to I'm going to try to be the perfect son, the perfect man for my fiance, the perfect That's an illusion. Perfect. Be you. And once you do that, friends, co-workers, intimate relationships, platonic relationships, interpersonal relationships, anything that you are into, people who see you are going to seek that within you. They're going to seek that which is within you. Why? Because they know the same way you know we are all going to make mistakes. We're not going to try. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to do it. It's like skateboarding, snowboarding, biking. You're going to fall. You are going to scrape your elbow. Look at all these bruises. You're going to scrape up your knees. They're going to bleed. It's going to hurt. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. So when it comes to this perfect ideology, trust me when I say, people who see you for what and who you are, 
not for what you aspire to be, not for what is in your dream world, but then when you come into real life, it's a different story. No, people who see that, they are going to take the things that are quirky, weird, mishaps, and they are going to love that about you because that makes you who you are. That makes you who you are. You are one of one. Your cadence, when you walk like it, when you talk like it, when you look like it, it's unbeatable. So what's the alternative of perfect? Being, doing, executing, and acting. Well, not acting like you're playing a role, but you know what I mean. Executing, that's better. Action, you're acting. You are exerting the least amount of force, which is you still acting upon energies. There you go. Now, the third one we got, the third one, the third dumbest word ever created in the English language, contradiction. Mm. And I'm going to say this right here, right now. I used to say this all the time. Life is a game. <clears throat> Life is a contradiction and life is about balance. The contradiction one, I subtly take out. Let me explain why. The word contradiction. So diction means words, images, visions, right? Depicting that, okay? And then contra is like opposite, like the contra positive. So it's the opposite of words and visions and diction, right? It's the opposite of that. So I thought to myself, is life being a contradiction actually a thing or is it the way that I'm thinking? The way that I'm thinking, the way that you have been thinking, the way that you have been programmed. You got to change that, brother. Sis, you got to change that ASAP now. Because balance is the yin and yang energy. That's the Dragon Ball Z ball. That's the metamorphosis. You see, that, that's, the, that's the Thanos jewels. The balance, not the contradiction. Yes, you can't have one without the other. Hence why when people see you are who you are when you're alone, by yourself, around friends, around rich people, co-workers, you are the same. You are giving and receiving the same type of high energy frequencies, right? Contradiction is, I'm going to slap this hand, and then on the opposite side, I'm going to get the same hand slapped back at me. No. No. No, 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 no. Balance is... I am aware that I can reside here for X amount of time, and I am aware that I can reside on the opposite side. It's almost, I am just as comfortable living in Alaska or Canada in the winter versus Arizona, New Orleans, Texas in the summer. And I'm going to leave it on that. that I'm going to just drop the bomb on that. That was just great. That was great right there. Last and final word. The dumbest word of the English language is nothing. Nothing. No thing. Nothing. Now, y'all know I'm a deep thinker. Shout out to all my free thinkers, deep thinkers out there, right? But nothing. In the allegory of the cave, they mention a lot about nothingness, right? Whenever they were at the, the abyss, the bottom, bedrock of the cave, okay? And <clears throat> they didn't have a light. They couldn't see anything. But they did have a glimpse of light that was ahead of them, okay? So it was three friends. They had to lift each other up to get over 
the other side of the hill, the, the, the Rocky Mountain, right? And they have to climb and see the light. And then once they see the, oh, they, they seen the torch. They seen the bulb. They, they seen the idea. That's the awakening. They seen there is light on the other side of the tunnel. But they mentioned the nothingness a lot in the allegory of the cave because in every given sphere, even when they got above ground, where they could see the trees, they could see the sun, the water, the well, they could see all those things, they still mentioned how nothingness played a big role into like like this is all we have and all we have is nothing but nothing is still a thing a lot of people mention the selling your soul illuminati concept which i can't stand your soul is a thing it's nothing that is like a pen or a water gallon or a mouse. It's, it's nothing physical. But when you meet somebody who has soul, when you meet somebody who has that within them, they walk around with it. It's never in a back pocket. It's never in a front, even when they don't even have pen. You know, you know, right? It's, it's an intuitive discernment, Okay. But when you sign that contract, when you sign, when you put your name on that contract, you sign your nature. That is you signing away the intuitive discernment that everybody else has felt before you sign the contract. Now, the record label has a hold of that, but it is no thing. They made it contractual. God, the universe, has given us our gifts, our talents for free. They are within you. From when your age is 1 to 90, you've been had it, even if you never discovered it or nobody ever told you about it. It's been there, always has been, always will be. The thing you can do for the most amount of time and you don't even recollect the time. It's timeless, ageless, moldless. It is still a thing. No thing as nothing. Like zero. Do y'all realize zero is still an integer in mathematics? They told us that integers are any number from zero to nine. Not one to nine. Zero to nine. Well, if that's the case... Can somebody be a zero life path? No. It's one through nine. That's the completion. When you are born into this reality, you're not nothing. Age, I mean. You're not nothing. You are on right when you are conceived out of the womb. You are entering your first Gregorian Right, You're entering your first year. And when you turn one, that the day of your birth, you are in your second year. But it's still a thing. It is still a thing. So, to give y'all all of that, to give y'all that synopsis, those are the four dumbest words in English language. Now, now nothing, I can go on a whole and scientific, <laughs> mathematical, ar arithmetic, psychological tangent about that, right? But I'm gonna leave y'all with this. I'm gonna leave y'all with this one quote, okay? Let me put it up, let me put it up. Just one quote. <clears throat> Here we go. The body do... Excuse me. <laughs> the body wants to do what feels good. The ego wants to do what looks good. And the soul wants to do what is good. Hmm. One more time? Okay. The body wants to do what feels good. The ego 
wants to do what looks good. And the soul, the Trinity, the soul wants to do what is good, what's righteous. That's the intuition. You know the, the road blockers that are coming ahead of you. A lot of times, you put the blockers there. The more you study, the more you learn, the more you intuitively feel and think and see the world is the more wholesome opportunities and people that would just be placed in front of you to experience and vice versa. They're going to experience you in a, in a very wholesome way, the same way you'll appreciate them. So I love y'all. Take care of yourself. Just be simple. And I'll see you on the next video. It's JB. And I'm at.